Welcome, welcome to the stream. Hi, hi. Uh, we're gonna be having a chill, cozy stream today since it's it, it's a winter day, it's a snow day. So I, I figured, you know what? We can do some reading. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. This is gonna be super, super fun. Um, I'm going to be reading a fic that I actually wrote. If you do not know, do not know already, um, I write my own like fanfics and stuff. That's kind of my, <laughs> kind of my thing. <laughs> I've been doing it since I was thirteen, technically since I was thirteen, when I was like, like seriously like doing like writing things, like taking things seriously. If that makes any sense. But um, I made a short story. Um. Which, which takes place in the Dream SMP lore between uh, like um, the characters Rambo and Tubbo, the Dream SMP characters, and Michael, the um, zombie pickling child, along with um, Technoblade and like Eret and Awesome Dude. Um, it's, it's taking place in um, the last Dream SMP lore stream. When they went to go and like visit Michael and avenge Rambo, so that's where it's gonna be taking place at, which is gonna be very cool. All right, I'm going to stop the music, and we're going to switch to using YouTube as our music source, which is gonna be fun. Um, I am using a snowy Minecraft ambience thing for the music. <laughs> It makes sense. Let me turn it on. Please let me know if it's too loud too. And also, let me put the link in chat. There is the link to the um, 
fanfic that we're reading, I'm going to switch to the default screen. And I've got to turn on the media source. And there's the media source. This is what we're going to be um, listening to while we read. I won't show the actual fanfic on screen. Because if I show the actual fanfic on screen, um, I won't get like as many like hits. Which is what like like reads is called on AO3. But it's um I did do that with the other fanfics I've read too. And I do plan on, on reading more fanfics in the future. I just need to reach out to some um fanfic writer mutuals about it. And see if they um want to, you know? You know, you know. Also, by the way, please let me know if the uh, stream is too loud with the music in the back or if it's too quiet. Because I do not know. <laughs> I do not know. Alright. We're going to start reading. The summary is that this is from the perspective of a child. Michael maneuvers through the emotions of a situation caused by a creeper named Sam. Away from his home and parents against his will. That is the summary of the story. What are your thoughts on the 2000 hit song Begging by My Con, which is a cover of Begging by Bob Gaudio and Peggy Farina, then popularized by the American band for a season in 1967? No thoughts, none come to mind. <laughs> no thoughts come to mind, Carlos. And hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you've been well. And then the story notes is that this is a short story inspired by the events that happened in recent world streams of Benjamin Rambo and Steven Michael. Yo! Thank you for the raid, Brody! Thank you, thank you! And thank you for the one bit! And another bit! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Oh my goodness! <laughs> thank you, thank you! Why are you do all one bits in the chat? <laughs> Hi, Mercury. <laughs> oh my goodness. What's up with the benefications? Hello? <laughs> you didn't mind to cry? No, please. <laughs> The poor suit sprites. <laughs> Hello, bunny boy. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> the suit sprites are walk working so hard. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you again for the follow. <gasps> How can you see him? <laughs> Please. Oh my god, thank you for the 500 bits, funny boy. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> thank you for the 5 tier 1 subs. What is going on? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> thank you for the follow, Aaron. What the hell is going on? <laughs> oh my god. Thank you for the 44 bits. Oh my god. <laughs> I was, I was expecting this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you so much. What am I witnessing? I don't know. Quite honestly, I have no clue. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again. Oh my god. Thank you for the gift of Taiwan. Oh my god. Let's get the heart train going. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just gonna read and have a chill time. Oh my god. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god. 
my god. That all happened at once. I wasn't expecting that. Holy shit. <laughs> Well, you hit- oh my god. You're welcome, thank you, thank you. What are your thoughts on the hit 2000 video game console made by Nintendo known to have such hits as such as Super Mario Galaxy? Thank you! Thank you for the 5 2 one chat. Oh my god, thank you! Thank you, thank you! Oh my god. Oh my god. Brody! Brody! What the fuck is going on? I don't know, but welcome to the stream. The whole track of that was <laughs> Thank you, buddy, buddy, for 500 bits. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> buddy, what did you say? Before you ended your stream. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> thank you for the 10 bits, Jazz. Oh my god, I was watching German when I got the notification. Good taste, good taste. Thank you for the bits. Oh my god. I didn't even say anything. <laughs> We're at 63 percent with the high train. You just deserve it. <laughs> we just had a free throw. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. My notification is so behind. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. Now if only I if only I used face cam, you guys would thank you for the hundred bits again. And thank you for the five hundred bits. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh my fucking god. Thank you for the 100 bits again. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Thank you for the 100 bits again. Oh my Oh. Try to totally quit to kill them. <laughs> Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> thank you for the 64 bits. Oh my god, thank you for the 500 bits. Holy crap, 100%. I need, I need a drink. Oh my god. A hey, non alcoholic drink, I should say. <laughs> I need a drink of water. What the fuck is going on? Oh my god. Oh wait, we hit the circle. We get playing webkins now. <laughs> level five, let's go. I'm about to have a level five level mansion in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> we can do a webkin stream now. That's gonna be fun. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Holy shit. Thank you, thank you. You guys did not have to do that. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not the one getting this up, but even I'm in a state of shock. <laughs> this is so un unexpected. Hi, train complete as is a sir. Oh my god. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Holy shit. Yeah, that's my emote. <laughs> my <laughs> My wonderful emotes that I made in MS Paint. <laughs> we need to get you a hard emote. Oh my god. Wait, hold on. I might have a, a, a slot open now. Hold on. 
I know I was close to getting a slot open. I do have one made. So, oh my fucking god. I'm here to support, thank you. Oh my god. Oh gosh, where is my... My emotes, where's my emotes? Where's my emotes? Oh my god. Yeah, we have, we have a open slot now, so I could definitely add that. Oh my god, I can, I can add a hot emote after stream. Because I do have one made. But it's like, not exactly like a, someone like holding a hot emote. Kind of. Oh my god. Wait, I just got a notification. We received a... Look at that! Let's go! Oh my god, and this, this Patrick star being high. Let's go. <laughs> Oh my fucking shit. Thank you so much. This the bad donations going on. <laughs> 17 subs and over 2,000 bits. Holy. Oh my god. Thank you. Holy shit. Oh my god. I am s I'm in such a state of shock. I am- oh my god. I- <laughs> I just expected today to be like a chill day, a cozy day of like me reading like one of my um- one of my works and like- I get this instead- oh my god. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my god. You're not the only one to stay a shock, trust me. That was still going. <laughs> one bit donations. The suits fights are, are currently working their butts off. Oh my god. Extension all the bits. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not gonna mute them. I'm just gonna let them run out. They should be good soon. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you again so much. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, there's the 100, 100 bit donation. Oh my god. They should be running out soon with the notifications. But thank you. That was, that was so generous of you guys. Oh my god. You did not have to do any of that. What do you, Jazz, work your ass off and then spend every money on Twitch? <laughs> oh my god. I am just... <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to read it. I'm going to wait until the uh, bit donations are, like stop going through. So <laughs> they should be over soon. Ah, <laughs> now just for what... <laughs> Spending money when you're bored is probably not a good idea, but also I feel, I feel. I got plenty of money left. Okay, that's good. What you have that much money? <laughs> that's what I do. I work a lot and then people my money. Oh my god. Thank you so much again. I am so giving people money go bo <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. This bear's so affordable. <laughs> oh my god, you, you have no idea how much this means. Yeah, sister in the bank has made Amanda happy. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god, you, you guys have no idea how much this means, cause like, oh my god. Not to say anything or like be like, too like, like intrusive or anything about my personal life, but like, I have not, I've been off of work since October of 2020 due to an injury. And I've been on a job search for the past couple of months and have not found anything, so... This like means so much to me. Oh my god. I am so. Oh 
Oh my god. Wait, are the notifications done? Oh my god, that was so... <laughs> Thank you again. Oh my god. Wait, I need... Let me go... I need to... Change the circle. Hold on. I need to do that. <laughs> oh my god. Deserved. Thank you. Oh my god. I wasn't expecting it. I'm going to be putting fucking no tip in my sleep. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. Wait, hold on. Uh. Um. I don't know what. Let's just do that. I don't know. There. It's updated now. <laughs> Yo. I don't know um, what to um, put as a new sub goal, but thank you guys so much. Oh my god. But yes, yes. We were supposed to be a fanfic. <laughs> okay, so um, for the new people here, I know most of you guys are like from like Brody's chat and like our Brody's friends and stuff. Um, I'm a fanfic writer. I've been doing it since I was 13. So, and I'm 20 now, so it's 20 going on 21, so it's going to be, so it's been a long time since I started doing it, and, um, I wanted to do something, like, cozy for today, like, chill, ignoring the, um, first part of the stream, but, <laughs> and, um, so I made a, uh, short story fic, um, about the Dream SMP lore, I'm pretty sure, like, none of you guys are, like, like interested in the Dream SMP lore, like the CC's for me or stuff, but I am, so it's totally okay if you're not interested and want to leave the stream. No, no, no harm feelings. 20 going to 21 this year? Same. Yes, I turn um, 20 in August. I'm a Leo. <laughs> I'm a Leo. <laughs> um, and yeah, 20 going on 24 this year with old, old. <laughs> But, um, yeah, um, before you guys, um, came in raiding me, um, I was explaining, um, a Leo, I'm a Scorpio. Nice, 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 old. <laughs> um, I was explaining how, um, I, my, usually my reading streams work. Like, this is my first time you have to come to nursing home, Jazz. <laughs> this, to the nursing home you go. Um. My we my we streams usually work out. Um, I don't actually show the fic on stream. That's why the command exclamation point fanfic exists. That way you can go to the um, read along with me by going through the link and stuff. I do that with all the other uh, we streams I I have done. I've only done like another one, like months ago, like one. I'm pretty sure, and that was someone else's work that I went on stream. But today, I'm going to be reading a work on that I did, that I wrote this past week. I posted it yesterday. I'm pretty sure. It was yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. I got my time right. <laughs> um, but if you like have like any like recommendations or like, things you want me to read or whatever, you're always free to like add me on Twitter or like DM me and stuff. Um, or what, what you would like me to like read, especially if it's like a fanfic that you really like and you want me to read on live on stream. All I do is like, um, when that happens, when it's like recommends me a fic to read, um, I have I message the writer or author themselves and like ask them, like, hey, do I have permission to um read this on my stream, you know, because. I'm not going to read someone's work without getting permission from them first, especially when I'm live and stuff. Um, also, by the way, when I'm reading, if I mess up my words and stuff, it, it's just gonna happen because I have a speech impediment and I'm dyslexic. <laughs> but I'm pretty good at correcting myself um, quickly, so we should be good. <laughs> But just keep that in mind. Oh my god. 
I have talked so much and it's 25 minutes into the stream. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Alright, uh, why does it say you have a founder's badge? It doesn't, it doesn't say that you have a founder's badge on my screen. You might need to, um, refresh maybe. Twitch might be glitching because you have the um, regular um, one month subscriber badge. What's the little purple one for me? Is it purple? I, for me, it looks like a mixture of blue and purple. I, I, I can never tell what color it is. That's how I'll show you what I mean. Alright. Um, I'm going to start reading now from the um, summary to the notes and then the um, whole fic. The, there is. 2,970 words to this fic. So. Wow, I'm a first sub. Yeah. I think there's still like a couple of Thalos Bows left too. I think it's like a couple of them. I'm pretty sure. But don't hold me to that. <laughs> Alright. Um, and once again, this is a Dream SMP like lore fanfic based off a uh, two streams. Um, Avenger Rampage and Saving Michael. Uh, Avenger Rampage is from Technoblade stream and Saving Michael is from um, Turbo stream. So, alright. The summer is from the perspective of a child, Michael maneuvers through the emotions of his situation caused by a creeper named Sam, away from his home and parents against his will. Notes This is a short story inspired by the events that happened in recent world streams, Avenger Rampage and Saving Michael. This isn't entirely canon, mixing the fanon and my own perspective on how Michael would have viewed and processed everything that happened around him from the view of a child with mixed in points on how the other characters were feeling. Thank you for reading, and then I signed off as Golden. Which, by the way, you can call me Amanda or Golden, I do not mind. I don't, don't mind which other way you want to call me by. Amanda is my real name and Golden is my username. Well, it's my online alias that I have used for years. So I do not mind. I'm comfortable with both of them. <coughs> Alright. Let us begin. Oh, by the way, it's the, um, um, before I start, actually. Can you guys hear the, like, Minecraft, like, ambient snow? Like, do I need to, like, turn it up or anything? Just let me know. And I could do that for you. Alright. You guys can hear it? Okay. Just to double check, because it is a little quiet for me, but that's just for me um, having my sound on a low setting on my actual laptop and not the, uh, um, YouTube volume button or slider. Yep, here we are good. Okay, let's go. Oh my gosh, buddy boy, you have a little um choo choo train next to you. Next to your name. Oh, that's cute. So does Jazz. I didn't realize that. That's so cute. Let's go. All right. <clears throat> let's begin. Sad eyes stare at the planks of wood in front of him, sitting on the ground as he recounts the lines for the tenth time that day. Distress from boredom and anxiety clawing at his insides. Michael doesn't remember how long it has been since he has seen their faces. How long it has been since the night prior to his father's birthday, when he was taken from being babysat by King Eric against his will. He doesn't know what he did wrong, what his chicken did wrong to be treated so harshly like that. By the hands of the green man with a scary face, full of emptiness and sorrowing eyes of red. He was supposed to be with his dad again. The next day, King Arrow is supposed to take him back to Snowchester after being deemed safe from the people who want to harm him to celebrate Boo's birthday. Rainbow was reluctant when he talked to Turbo, Bo, about having a party to celebrate his special day, but after a lot of talk and frustration, he finally agreed to just have a small party. Michael hopes that he has a good birthday without him. The sorry piglin rubs at his eyes, tired and unwilling to fall asleep. There were scary sounds outside. Monsters of the night freely roamed the island the creeper brought him to. 
He could only figure it was an island, or like a peninsula, because he remembered getting seasick when he was removed from King Edward's safety. Michael stands and walks to the farthest wall before falling to his knees. He passed down the dirt in an attempt to t make it tolerable to lay on. He rolls onto his side, back pressed up against the wall, curled into a ball. Keeps his cries quiet, and tears are held back. He missed them. He wanted to eat cake with them like they promised they would. He tried his hard to stay quiet. The grave of fear suffocating him. And then drowned, walking along the sand, in muffled grunts and waggling of bones. He may have been undead himself, forever a child, but that didn't mean he wasn't afraid of the overworld mobs that roamed freely. The only mob he wasn't afraid of was Rambu, the half enderman but he was his father. It was impossible to be afraid of someone who protected you every time you found yourself in trouble. A nagging thought bites him. He wasn't there, a grim reminder. Neither of them were there. Rambo had gone for a while. Michael didn't know why he slowed down his visits. Trevor only told him vague things. He's working on himself. He's in the mines again to help pay off the house. Boo is being Boo. The living thoughts that had to have been something more Something that his childish mind couldn't grasp easily. Bo was there, had gone out just for a second to tend to the berry bushes when he was whisked away. Then he was in King Carrot's possession. Under the protection of a monarch, Michael didn't know the names of the people who tried to harm him, letting go of the memory of their faces. He was going to go home soon, he thought he was. Eyes sprung open at the sounds of yells, shouting gruesome. He covered the sides of his head with his cold hands, waiting for them to go away, for the world to be quiet again. He initially charged curses and commitments before it dies. One with whispers, passing of words, Michael couldn't make out who the voices were, or why they were there. What happened to the creeper man? He couldn't hear him or his sizzling presence. He remained quiet, held back in his tear ducts. Tears held back in his tear ducts. Apologies. <laughs> He didn't know how long it has been since he last heard a voice. Time lost to him, began to drift off, feeling defeated, looking sleep to take him. Sounds of a stampede, reminding Michael of the sheep Boo heard of a wall to make him new coats. Michael pushed himself up, loud footsteps rushing around the house. His foot is closed up, dry and hoarse, when he hears a familiar voice. Michael. Bo, he struggles to say. One of his fathers was here, the sounds of things waking, crashing to the ground, and furniture being overturned. Desperate attempts to find him. Michael wasn't sure where he was either, stuck behind walls of wooden planks, an intimidating mechanism of redstone and two pistons. But always told him to not mess with stuff, like that, unless he had a mask on. It was too dangerous without. Michael, his father shouts again. His voice filled with fear and worry. Michael hears another voice, a different one. Tubbo, look, Eret. Michael hears to the wall in front of him. Following the direction of the voices, he hits his tiny fist against the wall. Pants up his father's name murmurs. He ignores the pistons in the rest zone. He wanted to go home desperately. <coughs> Apologies for my coughing. <laughs> He smells it first, and then a line of redstone breaks, along with the pistons. They deflate next to him, the slime acting as strong glue, taking the part of the wall with it. Michael doesn't get a chance to adjust to the bright light, stuck in the dark for so long when he is shoved up like fresh snow and into his father's arms. Thank goodness, Top airs out of sigh of relief. His puffy coat warming the little zombie piglin. Hey buddy, Sam is stuck in prison now, let's get you two out of here. You can stay with Phil and me. Michael looks past the soft wall of his father's jacket, seeing a tall and menacing boot staring back down at him. He whimpers, fearful of him. He hadn't seen one since he was rescued from another. Is there even room for us? Tub asks. And Michael wonders why they couldn't go back home to Snowchester, the only home he has ever known in the overworld. Rambo's old house. He would want you two to be there, the safest place, with two anarchists just next door. Michael clings to Tubbo. I see he stands up, his shoulders out of frame. Eric hesitantly walks up to Michael, leaning down to be eye-level with the boy. I'm sorry, Michael. I never should have trusted Sam. 
What she apologizing for? Emma is surprised at the sight of Michael raising his hand and resting on her che- cheek, attempting to reply to them. Uh, that's all he manages to get out. One syllable. Trevor turns his back, gesturing with his head for Eric to grab something out of his bag. He refuses to let go of his son, his heart rate normal after days of unrest. He opens it to see a canteen sticking out. Michael is giving a drink of hot chocolate, his favorite. Where's your jacket, bud? Trevor asks, watching his truck between gobbling down the hot chocolate. That's okay. I can make a new one. His eyes sadden, wishing that he had taken another offer to learn how to knit. He had not learned now, his own now, by anything from Michael. The group head out of the house that once belonged to Sam, to a boat laid on the docks that entered the island. It was morning, Michael sees. He doesn't feel as afraid anymore. Once Trevor was seated on the boat, placed Michael to sit on his lap before taking off his jacket and wrapping it around him, keeping him warm. He missed his bow, and he couldn't wait to see his boo again. What he didn't miss was the feeling of his stomach churning as the blue pickling rose from on the open water back to the mainland of Dream S&P. Eric kept apologizing, and Michael kept staring at her, confused. He didn't understand what she was apologizing for or why Toby kept Michael in his arms so tight. The journey as is as long as it thought out to be, to the anarchist commune. He didn't learn what that word meant. Boo must know. He can always go to Boo for questions. If he was sick to his stomach by the time they reached land, Toby reluctantly let Michael walk on the snow, cover the ground, to get his wits back. He wanted to keep holding him, but he couldn't smother the kid for the rest of his life. Michael held his father's hand as they walked through the high snow, the strong girl pulling him up and over the large mounds that his kid would sink into. Michael fell at home with the snow. He just wished that it wasn't so cold. He needed warmth. His father's hand could only provide so much. They come upon a fenced-off area in the woods. I never pulled it and closed the water leading to the front gates. Air opens the gate and they walk through, trudging through the snow and seeing the different types of light sources scattered around. Safe. Boss of the overworld don't bother them here, safe from terrors of the night. It's still Chester they only had a drowned problem, but that's because they lived along the coastal line. They came on warmer days, learned when anyone would get too close to the water. Michael couldn't leave the house those days without supervision. One way took him on one of the most of the walks to explore. He just wishes that they, he didn't have to carry around another right axe. He wants to ask if they can go on a walk. His fo- sore throat said otherwise. Perhaps tomorrow, it will be healed enough to form a full sentence. Techno, are you sure we are allowed to stay here? Tubber questions again, doubt egging him on. Techno turns and nods down at the goat. It is what he would have wanted, and I would do anything to honor his last wishes. Wishes? Like throwing a coin in a well? Bo notes slowly, taking a deep breath and before releasing. A small puff of hot air forms a wispy cloud. What do you need back in Snowchester? I can go and retrieve them for you. Eva asks Tobo. Michael swings up, taking on his father's sleeve, urgently. Tobo smiles softly, staring down at him. His toys. Everything else can be left there, abandoned. This is his house, Techno stares, stopping in the sea snow. Tobo hoists Michael back up in his arms, forcing himself through the snow to stand at his side. The house is empty and dark. The animals that Rainbow had stood posted outside waiting for him to return home. They had been waiting for a while. I've only been here once or twice, but this would be a good place for us and Michael. It's mostly left untouched. I've only been in there to check on his vault. Everything is intact. Techno glances down on Michael, the sawmy pilgrim child staring up at the ugly house in awe. Boo lives here, he thinks. He smiles, showing off his teeth and fangs, together. Hey buddy, can we talk for a second before we head inside? Michael nods, feeling his body being maneuvered before being placed down on a thin... <coughs> Sorry. On a thin layer of snow patch. Toba kneels down in front of him, resting his hands on his arms. You don't boo, right? He nods, head tilted at the look on his father's face. Well, boo won't be around anymore, okay? It's just to be going to be me and you, Michael. Vacation? Toba turns to grasp the canteen out of his bag, handing it to Michael to drink from. 
His father's head shakes. He is in modification. Just gone. Michael is more confused. How does a person just be gone? Did Boo disappear as the gas do? Learn to fly away and never be seen again? It troubled him, arranging his thoughts. It frustrated him that he couldn't bear to get out a full sentence. His throat felt horrible. We have honey up here. I'll go inside and make tea of honey. Tiger's words fell short. Movement. Michael and Tubbs stood up at him, following his line of sight. He was staring at the window of Lambert's house. Michael. Tubbs' voice was stunned. He didn't have the time to get behind him. Michael clung to his hand, hiding behind his legs as Tugman removed his axe from his sheath on his back. Two words carved in the handle. For Tecna. Breath falls short as the figure walks by the window, clenched fish and prepared thirst for blood waits. The door opens, but no one walks out of it. Michael's grip on his father's hands tightens. Carrie's eyes squint to try and peek at Will's inside of the dark house. Will's making his dad and Tecna react like this. Why was Eric so close to them, almost like a god? They feel they found inside, showing other faces. Michael didn't know, so it couldn't have been anything good, right? Doors, the wind swings the door open to Rambert's old home, wider, almost breaking off its hinges. Luckily, it didn't. Snow falls, as does any last sentiment in the eyes of the last remaining beloved on the school family. Eyes grow wide as the figure takes steps outside into the snow, steadily approaching them. Tubbo is too deep in a state of shock, ignorant to his son releasing his hand and running towards the cloaked figure of white and black. Michael runs towards the figure, shouting in a strained voice, Boo. Michael waved, Tubba snaps out of it, and attempts to grab his son before he can reach the figure, fear gripping his insides and twisting them. Michael ignores his father's plea, running into the long legs that belong to Boo, ignoring the veil that strikes down over them and drags on the white snow. The son of a half enderman and girl hybrid snuggles into the legs of the former. They can live together now. Boo and Bo were both here. How? Tagman is astonished at the sight of Bamboo, and more so at the sight of some type of stain inch on his chest, a mixture of red and green, forever dripping. It took him a moment to pass through the shape it was in, one of his failures. Bamboo doesn't move for a few moments, just stares at Tubbo with empty eyes. The ex person of Lambo couldn't believe the sight before him. Just as he started to accept his death, he appears once again. Why was the world so cruel to him? It happened to his best friend, and now his husband? Hi, states a soft voice, a smile tugging upwards on her face. Hi! Michael looks up at his father, smiling wryly. They can go on walks now. Wimboo crouches down to sit on his knees in front of his sorry pilgrim child. Empty eyes warped in bright green and red heterochromia. It looks like he was alive again and not perished and dead, dying for his family over and over again until he couldn't anymore. If a ghost could die, and it was for the sake of his family, he would, a million times over. Michael didn't understand that he was dead, nor a ghost, and just accepted that he was here with him, wrapping his arms around him and bringing him to a hug. Interestingly enough, his form wasn't translucent, and he couldn't fall through him. Maybe he could regularly. But Boo was trying so hard to stay, being in a materialized form. Rainbow, I kept them promise. Your son is safe now. Take their stairs to say to the soft laugh. My arrow wrapping away a small tear that escaped her eye. So you are just ghost Boo now, right? He nods slowly, holding Michael as tight as he could to him. He is cold, Michael thought. Need jacket. Tubba cautiously walks out to the two, drawing to his knees in front of Ghost Boo. What happened? How are you? Unfinished business, I guess, but it's freeing. Ghostbird's eyes cross over as he models over his next words, choosing carefully what to say while Michael was present. I'm not a constant worry or turmoil anymore. I can just be my family and not worry about anything ever again. Ghostbird rushes the snow off of Michael's back before standing up, offering a hand to Tubbo. It's cold for you. Let's head inside. Hesitantly, he takes the hand and lets himself be pulled up and off of the snow covered the ground. Michael's smile is contagious. The happiness of a child, all he ever wanted was to live with his parents at the same time and to never be apart, now it is finally happening. 
Gooseby adjusts his son to sit on his right arm, grabbing something in his pocket, a pink tulip. You remembered an odd thing that the live rainbow had a hard time with. He mentioned that pink tulips were his favorite once, a long time ago, now it seems. So for Gooseby to remember, I did. The pink tulip is handed over, and the strength of their bond fortifies, cementing deep within. The two are lucky to have one another and to take care of such a sweet kid. Look, Michael, Boo gave Bella a flower. Is that neat? Michael nods, feeling sleepy after the long past days he has had. Head inside. You'll be inside if you need anything. Eric and I have to talk. Michael drifts off, happiness in his veins and pouring out of his heart. His time is whole again. He was with them. King Gohan walks with them in the snow and enjoys their company without the scary monsters. The end. Hello, Caspies. Welcome to the stream. And that is Hopscotch. Hope you all enjoyed my <laughs> my reading. Apologies for um um my voice straining. I I need <laughs> I, I need to get about um. Waiting out loud. I don't do it too often. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I will do something though. Hold on. Since we just read it, I will show my screen. Look at that. Here's my screen. <laughs> Here is the um, whole story as read file. Once again, you can do exclamation and fanfic in the chat. That will give you a direct link to the uh, fanfic as long as. Along with um, my Twitter and stuff, so very, 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 very cool. Uh, it had the characters um, uh, well, Michael, Rambo, Turbo, Technically, Eric, Sam, Ghost Boo, and basically just like Dream SMP Ensemble. If that makes any sense. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. Especially for the viewers who don't like, um, like watch Dream SMP stuff. <laughs> I'm I'm not used to um, writing um, short stories often, like at all. I'm I'm better at making um, multi chapter fix. I've always have been. I don't know why. I think it's just because I'm bad um, putting everything in like one chapter. If that makes any sense. Because I want to like add so many details to it that it just makes it longer. But luckily, I didn't. Um, this this fic did take me a couple days to... Um, well, I'll say two days because I started it, writing it... Um, um, what was it? I started writing it the night before I started like writing, writing it. If that makes any sense. But, um, yeah. Let me go to my dashboard. But yeah, I do, um, fanfics and stuff. This is the one we just read, and this is my multi-chapter fic that I'm currently working on. But this is what we read. We read Hopscotch. And, and honestly, I, do, I did not know what to name this fic when I, uh, first thought of it. Because I thought of, um, making this fic Right after watching the uh, Lord streams and stuff, so I did not know what to name it. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna name it after like a childhood game, you know. So Hopscotch kind of like fits that narrative. So yeah, um, thank you all for um, listening to me read. That was that was fun. <laughs> um, hope you all enjoyed. And by the way, uh. I do have like other works and stuff as I like briefly showed you like scrolling down my AOD page like once <laughs> showed you chainless is this is this the end yeah I I didn't plan for this to um, be a long stream honestly <laughs> definitely enjoy thank you thank you um, I do other fix I my like my drama of like fix and fanfics I made was like anime stuff. So there's like a whole like um why things that you want to um if you want to like go and like read and stuff. It's all there. Um, okay. 
let me do this and be a good streamer. There's link to all my socials. There's uh, my stream Twitter, my TikTok, and my YouTube. Um, my TikTok, I post like little bunny clips from streams. Oh, I don't have to <laughs> use my um, Discord um, command. Nice. Uh, and YouTube, I post my VODs and started making YouTube-oriented content. Like, content that's made for YouTube. Hopefully. And also, um, I also do writing commissions. Oh my god, money. <laughs> um, if you want to um, commission me for writing, there's a full Google Doc that you can look through and see my rates and like my rules and stuff when it comes to commissioning if you're interested and stuff. But um, yeah, I hope you all enjoy. Thank you so much for um, um, listening to me read. <laughs> And thank you so much again for earlier. That was... I was not expecting that to happen earlier. I was... I, I, I'm still in a kind of good shape, state of shock. Honestly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to um, put on Spotify. Hold on. <laughs> While we um, end stream. <laughs> thank you again. That was, that was such a cool thing that happened. I appreciate it a lot. I'm going to put on stream music. Um. Uh. Look at that. We got some lemon demon. <laughs> but yeah, thank you, thank you so much again. Um, I'm going to raid someone before I end off the stream. If that is okay with you guys. Um, who should we raid? Let's see who's live. Ooh, Lemon Demon! Yes, yes, Lemon Demon. Alright, who is live? Um. Ooh, Everybody's playing Pokemon. Oh my god. <laughs> Pokemon Legends. Do you guys want to watch um, some Pokemon Legends? Let's, let's watch some Pokemon Legends. Hold on. Can I copy and paste? I cannot copy and paste. I'm done. Hold on. Last name. Oh, that's, that's not how you spell the person's name. Oh my god. Alright. Go and say hi to Mint. Um, very cool person. Um, uh, if you, if you know my, um, Stan Twitter account, we wait time, yes, 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 um, if you know my Stan, Stan Twitter account, um, Golden Star with Zero, and not my stream Twitter, um, I use, um, this person's art as my, um, Stan Twitter profile picture, so, please go and, like, support them and stuff, very, very cool person, plus, they use a, uh, feature in order, so that's always fun to look at and stuff, um, I hope you all have a wonderful night. Thank you so much again for earlier earlier this stream. Um, I'll be live again tomorrow playing some Minecraft. Oh my god. Minecraft. Yeah, we love Minecraft. <laughs> Alright. Have a good night, guys. And have a good day as well to the Australian viewers. <coughs> Brody. <laughs> have a good night, guys. Bye.